What's up everybody? Check it out. This is the introduction video to the one year Bible reading plan that I've put together for everybody for free. So if you've made the decision to walk this out with me, to journey with me, or am thinking about doing it, I highly recommend you commit yourself to the word, to the Lord, to the ways of God for one year. I'm hopefully God willing for me, it's already set within my heart to um, do this every year from this point forward. I've made it easier. I've made it to where it's hard to make an excuse not to do it. The main excuse that we hear or make, including myself, most of the time is, you know, once you get a family, you got your job, you got your career, you got your kids. Where do you fit that into 24 hours? You know what I mean? Like. It gets difficult, I get it, and that's why I put this together. So let me show you what it's all about. Some of y'all have seen the videos I've posted already where I've given you small glimpses. Um, I've been working on this for months. Still can't even say I'm fully halfway there because I'm still gonna be working on it as we go. Um, this is something I've tried to do, which is a one year thematic Bible reading plan, which means it takes all of the parallels, it takes the correlating verses, chapters, books, puts them together to where it makes sense, it's cohesive, and you start tying the, the dots, uh, connecting the dots, and all of those connections. I've never understood the word in this way, at this level, to this degree, until I started doing it myself, the thematic version. This is just something that's that I, that's done a lot for me. And I ain't even done with it yet. I decided, you know what? I started working on this 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 one that I've, I'm doing now, which is the, it's got the audible versions, all of the links, all of that stuff. And I was like, you know what? I wanna bring people with me. So let me, instead of me being like six, seven months ahead of everyone, I wanna do it with you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and what you're gonna, what you're gonna see is it's gonna be, one website link right save it to your desktop save it to your phone it's gonna look like an app on your phone if you do it right i'm gonna have a link saying that says save as an app on your phone right it's, it's easy to do just follow the instructions easy to do um and then make sure you join the facebook group because we will do some calls here and there um this is not a bible study i have no desire to do a bible study just personally i don't I don't feel like, hey, everyone, listen to me talk. Listen to me. Don't feel like that. I, this, I've made it to where this is on your time. If, if you wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning, do it at 4 or 5 in the morning. If you feel like you get a burst of energy at night, like some people, just a random burst of energy, 11 o'clock at night, do it at night. I recommend doing it in the morning to start your day. Um, now, this can be done if you do it the right way. This can be done in like... 15 20 minutes depending on how long the chapters are if you want to if you want to go deeper what i'm gonna do personally is my hope is and every day is different we have different things going on you know what i'm saying you got celebrations and all work and all kind of stuff going on and unexpected stuff but if you do it right it's an all day thing it's not going to be 20 minutes it's going to be all day just as the word says meditate day and night and that's that's my goal that's my goal because my goal is to get closer to god fall in love with his word fall in love with him get to know his ways on a deeper level until until i'm more consecrated than ever so um this is this is this is a time of commitment discipline and so much more so um what you're gonna see is you're gonna see um, when you first click on each day, it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to go down the list. It's going to have all the dates. You click on the day that you're on and hopefully we're all on the same day. If some people join the group later, then they can, you know, they can have a different timeline. It's whatever. But my hope is that we do it together. So it could be like a community, right? Uh, where we can grow together, talk about it together, discuss how it's benefiting us together. That's my hope. That's my, that's what I feel called to do in this, you know, um, but if you start 15 days late, 15 days out, it's all good. You know what I mean? Just get close to God. That's my whole thing. That's the main point. So what you're going to see is when you click on it, you're going to see these are the scriptures for today. Boom, boom, boom. Genesis 1, Ephesians 1, boom, 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 boom. And then you're going to go down. You're going to see a link where it says NASB. It's going to have Genesis 1, NASB. Click on that. It's going to take you to version. Everyone's got version. If you don't, 
you might want to download it but whatever i mean you version is online too so it'll either take you to the app or to take you online to, to a web browser whatever it doesn't matter uh, it's gonna have the scriptures there i like the nasb version to me i love it it's a great version um one thing you're gonna also realize is um there's usually gonna be visuals as much as i can get it i'm gonna get visuals that correlate with scriptures or at least are just really good freaking visuals with teachings and it's gonna help you digest and get concepts you know as you grow in the word it's gonna help you understand on a on another level you know think about things in a way you may not have before you know what i mean um so you're gonna see that at the at, after you get through you know let's say uh the audible version and then you're gonna get the visual once you finish the actual scriptures and you can listen like i made it easy to where you don't have to even read so i wouldn't say after once we get done with a whole year i wouldn't say I read the whole Bible in a year. If you didn't actually read it, I would say I got through the whole Bible in a year, which is fine because faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and understanding. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. So as we continually hear, we are causing our faith to arise within us. So it's still good. I, my hope is that I can really pull out my Bible every day. I'm gonna take this everywhere. I encourage you guys, Take your Bible everywhere. Take your sword. This is the sword of the spirit. Don't leave the house without your sword. Come on now. We got to be strapped up out here, y'all. Bring your Bible with you everywhere you go. Pull it out. You get tempted. I want to look at Facebook real quick. Ah, oh, man, instead of looking at Facebook, let me see, God, what do you have for me real quick, man? The word is amazing, y'all. There was one time I was listening to a song, uh, a worship song, right? And it had, they were singing a, a psalm. I didn't know what it was. I was like, this is the most beautiful thing I've heard. And it's really ministering to me. And I asked God, where is that? Where, where do I look in here? And he told me which Psalm it was. And I went to it and it was exactly it. I was like, what the heck? Having the word on you is amazing, dude. The Holy Spirit is amazing. Cause when he speaks to you and it's accurate, it's absolutely phenomenal and mind blowing. Now I have had times where I've asked God for something random and it wasn't even in there because I was like, I was definitely hearing off. Like that chapter is not even in here. So whatever, I, it was my mind trying to come up with something. You know, that happens too. Gotta be transparent, right? But when, the, when, it, when it's accurate, it's accurate and it's amazing. It's awesome, it makes me smile, right? So keep your word with you. And if, if you're driving, this, I made it to where you, if, if you're working out, pop in those scriptures, I put it over beats. Uh, or street lights it's all they they make it over beats so you listen to it while you work out i'm hearing the word and when you do all your scriptures after that you'll see helpful links i put helpful links on there there should be helpful links or not helpful links helpful tools every single day every day there's going to be helpful tools it's going to either be sermons that go over scriptures or have something to do with the scriptures where they mention a scripture or something. You're going to be able to see how different preachers use or go in and out of scriptures, whatever. Or there's going to be topics that can be somewhat relatable. Or I feel like they might freaking bless you that day. So check it out. I encourage you to go through all of them. Like for me, I'm going to try to make this an all day thing. I want to meditate on the word. Meditating on the word isn't just like close your eyes, get quiet. It's like I'm literally... I've heard it said this way. It's like chewing the cud. When you got an animal and they keep chewing, they chew slow. They keep chewing it. Sometimes they literally spit it out, chew it again. It's regurgitation. So when you meditate, you're not just like getting quiet, closing your eyes in, a, in a, some type of Buddhist stance. I'm literally speaking the word. God, I thank you that Psalms 23 says that you are my shepherd and I shall not want. And throughout the day, I shall not want. I lack nothing. God, you withhold no good thing from me. You're, you're meditating. Now you're meditating day and night. And guess what? Faith comes by hearing. When you're when you're hearing the word of God and then it's cycling through, you're getting washed by the water of the word. And now you're speaking the word and you're also hearing the word out of your own mouth. Now you're prophesying to yourself. Now that's amazing. Tell me that doesn't sound like there's some benefits to that. I don't even know what they all are. I just know it's beneficial. Shoot, the word of God is good. It's good and it even heals the bones. It brings healing to our bodies. So for me, I'm going to try my best. Hopefully I can literally read every single scripture. Um, 
it's easy to fall off with that way if you're not disciplined enough it takes a lot of commitment i want you guys to know what you're getting into but i made it easy you can listen to it you can listen to it and you don't have to literally sit there if you literally have 20 minutes a day of sitting down and most of your day is not sitting down and it's very hard to get that in especially if you're like me i'm a slow reader then i get it listen to it listen to it at least keep yourself going right but one of the people that i'm gonna have a lot of is Derek prince Derek prince under the helpful tools very crucial for my growth as a christian very foundational he teaches um he studied at and taught i think even at like cambridge and oxford and all of these amazing universities it has a really great repertoire and reputation and he's he teaches good man it's very foundational it's practical even and you know it, it's it's beneficial so i would say listen to those um and what you're going to notice is he emphasizes the niv usually he reads out of the niv version today in 2023 and for the last 10 years i would say at least for me for about the maybe not the last 10 years maybe almost eight years most people have strayed away from the niv um but he was doing these a lot of these in the 70s so when you look at the different versions and the times things were edited the newer versions of the NIV were edited and certain things were taken out, which I don't believe they should have taken out. Um, so just keep that in mind that he was reading from it before it was kind of frowned upon. But he does in one of the videos and here, I don't remember which day it is, one of the 365 days, he talks about the NIV and the NASB. So personally, the NASB has been one of my favorites for a while. It's really, really good. Um, the reason he emphasizes the NIV is because it's extremely simple, easy to follow along. And that's what he likes. He likes to make it simple, easy to follow, on, follow along so that Christians can get discipleship. You know, why make it vague? Why make it confusing? You know what I mean? Let's keep it practical. Um, so you'll see that it doesn't matter. Um, NIV, NASB, if you prefer the King James version, that's what I used to read strictly was the King James Version. Um, I used to love it. And in my head, I used to translate automatically a lot of the stuff. Now, I don't find it as easy for some reason than when I first started out. Um, but now I like this version, but you know what I mean? Whatever version you use, I, I'm gonna keep saying this. I recommend having your Bible with you. Um, other than that, you have the U version. You have all of the links. Um, and you're gonna have a lot of um, resources that I, that I'm putting in here. I even got a couple of free classes um, that I put in here. You're going to see the Bible Project. Um, they have a class that they offered. I put it on one of the days. It's free. There's another one I put in there. Um, let's see. Um, I got videos on the breakdown of each book of the Bible um, and just a whole lot of foundational stuff. And then even on some of them, you're going to you're going to see photos at the bottom. Um, you're going to see podcast episodes. I'm, I do a lot of read and rant. Once you get about to day 100, you're going to see a lot of read and rant. Um, if you don't know who that is, that's uh, Isaac Farrar. Farrar. I, I can never say his last name. Cool dude. But he went through the whole Bible. I think he's on the second. This is his second year. or Maybe he's on the third year of going through the whole Bible. And he does it on social media. He does it live and he discusses. He reads and then he rants, which is basically just him processing out loud what he just read in the bible it's really dope um so that's where i got some of some of the uh, audible versions from i put some of his uh readings on over beats that way i don't have to read everything because that's gonna take i wouldn't have had this done in time so i just took his put it over beats that's what you guys would be listening to most of the time aside from the streetlights version which is absolutely excellent done with absolute excellence um so, and then you're gonna see, you're, what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see some archeology span even. I got people who live in Israel. I got people who visit there and they go on explorations. They, they, they look at uh, new findings in the archeology span world that back up the Bible um, and the Bible stories. It's amazing. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be like you're there. You're gonna be able to see things um, that otherwise probably wouldn't be able to see unless you went there, right? Um, and you're even going to see some stuff like I'm I love reformed and real like in-depth um, 
study of the word. I'm not very reformed per se in my theology somewhat, but I definitely don't hold to the five uh, points of Calvinism or whatever. Um, but you're going to see some things, some people and some things that maybe aren't exactly what you would prefer if you're reformed. You're going to see plenty of um, charismatic people, what you would call char charismatic, although not everything that's not reformed is charismatic. And you're going to see some reformed people. If you're charismatic, you might see some. You just keep an open mind. It's good to listen to people who don't share the same exact beliefs as you. It's good to expand your mind. I had friends who were Calvinists and, and we would just send us things. We would talk about things we disagreed with. And it was really good because instead of confusing me and making me be like, shoot, I don't even know if I believe what I believe. What I had to do was let me get into the word even more and figure out why do I believe tongues is still for today? Why do why I believe that God still speaks today? Why do I believe that the gifts of the spirit didn't die with the apostles, but the, but the gifts are actually with the spirit? He never dies. And why do I believe? So I had to really get into the word and know why I believe what I believe, you know? And so I, I've taken on a little bit of um, reformed uh, mindsets as far as the way I make sure that I'm looking contextually at the word that I'm reading, and I would like to know that. But I also would want to know the rhema, right? I want to know what God is speaking to me right now. And in the charismatic world, a lot of times that's all you hear. And it's good because, you know, it's bread to live by daily. It's cool. But sometimes we need to look at the historical. We need to look at all of that. We need the word. We need to hunger and thirst for all of it, you know? and not just be one-sided. So that's why you might see some things that 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 may be a little different than what you're used to. I even got some people that are more so philosophical and they bring on a whole nother ideology or or starting point to where they to to where they uh, look at the word um, and then where, where we may, but it's still good to see, you know what I mean? Um, as long as you're getting through the scriptures themselves, you know, for each day, then you're doing, you're doing it. And if you stay committed, then you'll be able to say, I've literally gone through the whole Bible in just a year. You know what I mean? It doesn't take long. Let's say 20 minutes a day. Um, that's not very long, especially if you can pop it into the car on your way to work or while you go for a walk, walk your dogs, you know, whatever you're doing, you can literally just pop it in your headphones or your speakers. It's not hard. It's not hard. And then for me, I'm going to keep doing it because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff that I missed. Um, it's hard to catch everything, but every year I'm going to get something new. And um, I'm going to be putting a couple of notes in, in um, each of the daily uh, readings and stuff like that. It's going to be really good. And um, the Facebook group, I highly recommend you do because... I'll be able to talk to you, get your feedback. I want your feedback. I want to know how it's uh, impacting you. And I want to know what could be better. And I want to talk to you. I want all of us to be able to talk, grow. And whether that's through Zoom or Facebook, I'll probably keep it with, you know, the Facebook room or chat or whatever it's called. Just because it's all in one place at that point, it might be easier. Um, but that way I can hear what everyone's getting out of the scriptures. There's going to be a lot of stuff that... I read the same scriptures, but I did not receive exactly the same thing that someone else did, you know, because they're hearing from God just like I am. And then when we put all that together, we'll get so much out of it. So, and it's not going to be super duper intense. My whole thing is I don't want to make this super duper intense. So we're not going to be like, you have to be here at this time and did nah. like we're going to, we're going to be like, Hey y'all, like we're going to do another call. It might be once a week, you know? whatever um whenever we can and whoever can make it can make it whoever can't cool you know condemnation at all but as long as everybody's growing as long as everyone commits themselves and if you don't feel like you can then then don't you know but if you if you really feel like you can or you want to or you desire to then do it and if you need people to keep you accountable then we'll keep you accountable um let me see if that's all there is. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. 
Let me see. Did I miss anything? Don't think I did. I think that's pretty much it. Let me see. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Um, so if you've been keeping up, you've seen some of the previews um, that I put out on how it looks. Um, if you got any questions, reach out. Post it in the Facebook group. I don't want to be the only one posting in that group. Because then I'm just going to feel like I'm the only one doing the Bible plan. And I would really like for everyone to get into the word. You know. Um, let's fall in love with God together. That's what this is all about. Let's fall in love with God together. If you got questions with God. You got things that you need to answer that only he can answer. This is it. This is a good way to do it. The word says to seek him with your whole heart. And Jeremiah says, when you seek me with your whole heart. So many people are like, yo, I tried that. You know, I went to Christian school growing up. You know, I went through this. I went through that. I tried. I, I said the prayer. And then a couple months later, something hard happened. And then all of a sudden, it's been 10 years. Well, look, we can't live off the faith of yesterday. You know? We have to live as daily bread, as daily bread for a reason. You know, God give us our daily bread, his word. We need to eat the sustenance he gives us, the manna from heaven, his word. Jesus is the word. When we spend time with the word, we spend time with Jesus. And by default, we get very acquainted with his spirit and we fellowship the Holy Ghost, which is something that all Christians should be doing. Unfortunately, not, not all Christians believe who the Holy Ghost is. And not all Christians believe that he's here guiding us today. You know, it's more of he works in mysterious ways, brother. And then we're all just aimless and hopeless. That's not the way it works. He's here. Jesus said it'd be better when he comes. So why? Because now he dwells in me and he leads me. He guides me. He speaks to me. I know his voice. And a stranger's voice, I will not follow. And that's what this is all about. Let's get in tune with his voice. Let's get in tune with his word. Let's get in tune with his nature. And let's fall in love. Blessings, y'all.